What's up everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in, I appreciate it. Today I wanna to go ahead and I want to elaborate and touch base on needle depth and kind of shed some light on how much needle is too much needle. So let's just dive into this. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be using my trusty CNC Q2 short style pin tattoo machine to demonstrate and get my point across in this video. Now, if you're not familiar with this specific tattoo machine, I will go ahead and link in the description down below to the product page so that we guys can check it out and read more about it. I also have a full blown review on this specific tattoo machine on my page, so be sure to check that out. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and elaborate and show you all real time here how much needle is too much needle and basically a comfortable place to have a needle uh, sitting out and hanging out I remember when I first started, let's go ahead and just fire this up real quick. We're gonna get five, four. We'll take it up to about seven. Okay. So I remember when I first started, I would have my needle hanging like somewhere around there. Simply because I was frightened and I was terrified to blow somebody's skin out. As you can see, that's really just like barely hanging out. The problem with this method was, I mean, it worked. It did good in terms of preventing a blowout. But I found that I would have to go over lines several times, like next to three to four, you know, passes when I first started. On top of that, uh, designs that had a lot of details the ink would really just pour out because I was riding the tube. As you can see here, as soon as you touch the skin, the skin has a tendency to, uh, has an elastic feel. So it's not necessarily like, like a table. You touch it and it stays there. It'll, you know, press and it'll fold. And that, what happens when it does that is that needle, that cartridge has that plastic head right there will start writing on the skin. And that's where that term comes from, writing the tube. Upon tattooing now, you'll see in my tattoo videos, I'll sit my needle comfortably like around there. I'll shoot my needle way out there. So I guess what ended up happening was over time, I developed the, I guess, muscle memory to know where the dermis is and the sound to hear it out. So when I hit that dermis, I know where I'm at and I simply pull the line all the way through the tattoo on that and I get one pass lines now. But what I'm doing with this needle depth, I'm no longer riding the tube. I'm using the tip of my needle. So practice allowed me to be able to hold the machine steady and to be able to pull from one line to another, keeping the same depth. And again, that's just simple practice. Like there's no way around it. And that's what I'm trying to, I guess, get the point across. I'm trying to let you all know um, the differences. There is nothing wrong with riding the tube. I've actually seen some people ride the tube uh, pretty insanely. But to me, this is kind of rubbish. This isn't something that we need to do if you took like a month or two to just practice specific needle depth. I also have a full-blown review on needle depth, and it lets you know more on where to look for, what to listen for. So be sure to check that out as well. I'll go ahead and put it up here for you all. But for this specific demonstration, I want to go ahead and keep it at needle depth. And I want to let you all see the actual needle depth that I'm working with. So this is about comfortable for me. So let's say I'm doing a tattoo. This is where I'm going to have my needle sticking out. Some people may think that it's way too much. Some people may even put the needle out more than that. Again, to each their own. I've, I like to say I feel like I've advanced to a level where putting my needle out like this is normal. Um, it's standard because, again, I trust my ability to keep my hand steady and what I'm doing. Um, I've practiced enough. I've done so many tattoos in a short amount of time. So I was able to really just uh, fine tune what I wanted to do, which was lining at that time. And this is where I'm at now. This is my needle depth specifically. Um, but yeah, we've actually come a long way now that I'm looking at it because let's go back to writing the two here. So essentially you'd be riding the tube even around here. This is uh, not where you want to be. You want to be maybe somewhere around here. This seems about healthy. That seems about healthy. And too much needle looks like this. That's too much needle. That's what too much needle looks like. 
But this is pretty straightforward stuff. It's not anything that you have to overthink, overcomplicate, or anything like that. This is just standard straightforward stuff that should be apparent upon your tattooing process. But yeah, guys, I wanted to go ahead and shed some light on that for you all. Maybe we'll even go ahead and demonstrate right in the tube real quick as well. So let's go ahead and switch over to that. All right, so we're back over here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and be demonstrating with this nine round liner. Uh, it's a cool cartridge needle. And as you can see, the needle depth is set to basically ride that tube. So I'm gonna see if I can demonstrate what riding the tube is right here for you all. So as you can see, now I'm on the frame of the tube. You can see a visible line of me riding the actual frame of the tube right here. As you can see, there's a whole other line of me writing the frame is what that looks like. And this is called writing the tube. As you can see, let's go ahead and see if we can demonstrate that again. So as you can see, my needle is touching the same time as my cartridge head. This is something that I don't like to do. I'm not fond of this approach at all. Um, it's just messy. It's, it's just not what you wanna be doing in my professional opinion. Let me go ahead and put the phone down and I'm gonna set the needle depth to where I like to have it for this specific type of needle, which is right around here, as you can see now. Now we're hanging out there. So what that allows me to do by hanging it out there is it allows me to keep that tube, this plastic cartridge off my canvas and it allows me to keep my area clean and it, it allows me just to pull a much cleaner line and it keeps my process much, much simplified for me. It's, I guess, in my opinion. Pull one line, sorry, I'm trying to tattoo and hold my phone at the same time. I'm actually tattooing through my phone screen. So as you all can see, we're no longer riding the tube. This mat right here is bouncing up like crazy, but it's still not touching the tube. And I'm just using the tip of my needle. You can hear when I break into the dermis. And when I pull that line, you can hear that. But as you all can see, I'm trying to demonstrate, that's basically what I'm working off of. Let's see if we can zoom in like super close. So you can see the tip exactly how much we're working off of. We're working just off the tip of the needle. And that is it. As you can see, this is how much we're hanging out. But that's what I wanted to go ahead and share with you all, needle depth. Um, take the time to actually practice, you know, hang your needle out. Make sure you feel for where the dermis is, get familiar with where you're going to put the ink each and every time. And you're going to be well on your way to pulling better tattoos, making better tattoos all around, being more comfortable upon tattooing. But yeah, guys, if I didn't touch base on something that you may have wanted to know, by all means, please feel free to drop them in the comments down below. I'm going to do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. I just want to go ahead and show you one last time my needle depth that I was using. But yet again, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop those comments. If you haven't, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell as I will be posting more videos like this. I also have social media at Daniel Yuck, D-A-N-I-E-L-Y-U-C-K. Be sure to go ahead and give me a follow. Yet again, I appreciate your time. Thank you for tuning in this along. Y'all have a great day.